Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. In this product information video, I will be demonstrating how to make the initial connection to the Kenwood Remote app with an Android device on a 2017 multimedia receiver. It's a very simple connection process that only has to be done once. So let's take a look. To use an Android device for the Kenwood Remote app with a multimedia receiver, we will first need to set the connection type. Enter into the settings, select system, and then select app setup. In the app setup menu, there will be two device type selections, iPod iPhone or Android Other. Select Android Other and then select change. The available type for an Android is Bluetooth. Select next. This will bring up a list of paired Bluetooth devices. Select the device and then select OK. Now press and hold the home button to power the receiver off. Next, enter into the Google Play Store and search for two words, Kenwood Remote. Select the Kenwood Remote app and then install the app. After the app has finished downloading, open the app and then press the home button to power on the multimedia receiver. Then we'll select the Bluetooth audio source on the receiver. At the bottom of the Android device, you will see connected with car receiver appear. We now have access to use the Kenwood remote app. The default is to be in driver mode, which allows us to use our gesture controls. If we select the three lines in the upper right hand corner, we can change that mode to passenger mode. That will give us individual controls such as volume down, volume up, track forward and reverse. We can also select the three lines in the upper right hand corner and use the receiver settings change icon to change the audio settings on the receiver. For example, we could go into the fader and balance. We could then use the arrows to fade to the rear or back to the center. We can then select save. If we select the return arrow, that will return us back to the Kenwood Remote App screen. Several other options are available, including the ability to change sources. Select the source at the bottom of the Remote App. You'll see the source change on the receiver as well as on the Kenwood Remote App. Thanks again for tuning in to the Android setup procedure of the Kenwood Remote App with a new 2017 multimedia receiver. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time.